Hey folks, Quill18 here, and we're back with the next part of our Unity 3D and Blender tutorial, and we are going to make a very simple cube in Blender. Now, if you've never used it, Blender is a 3D modeling software that allows us to make meshes and models that we can then use in Unity 3D. Um, it is free. It is not that hard to use, except that all 3D programs are very hard to use. So there's a learning curve. If you look down in the bottom left corner, you'll be able to see what keys and what buttons I'm pushing. For example, you can see here I'm using the middle mouse button. Or if I hit the A key, you can see that it says A right there. So uh, again, I'll, I'll, I'll be keeping up a pretty solid pace, but you can always pause and rewind if you've missed something. Um, now, I have gone and deleted the, uh, the objects that start in the screen. The way to do that, you can hit A to select everything, and then you can hit X to delete everything. And that'll clear the scene and get you this sort of blank setup, just like I have. So we are gonna create a basic cube. That's gonna be sort of our building block. Um, the same sort of thing that I use to make my game. So I'm gonna go Shift A to add. I'm gonna add a mesh and add a cube. And this will create a two by two cube in the center of the screen. I can hit seven on the numpad to get the top view, one to get the front view, and three to get the side view if I want. And I can still use the middle mouse button to just cycle the screen around. So um, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit tab to go into edit mode. And I'm gonna make sure that I'm editing vertices, which I am, I'm very comfortable with that. I'm also gonna hit Z to go into the mesh view mode, which is much, much easier to work in. I'm gonna zoom in a little. So what I want to do, well, I want to do a couple things. One, I'm going to, uh, my, my building blocks in my game were nine units long by three tall by three wide. So I'm going to get this guy to be the same. Now it's two by two by two right now. So I'm going to hit S to scale. Whoops. And then I'm going to hit the slash key and hit two. I'm just going to have the size. Now it's a one unit square. Then I'm going to hit S and then I'm going to hit three. So now I have and then I'm going to hit enter to lock that in. Now I have a three by three by three cube. Going back to the front view, I'm going to hit S one more time. I'm going to hit X to only scale along the X axis. And then I'm going to hit three one more time. So now I've got a nine by three by three cube. And these are the building blocks that I was using for the game. So I figured, ah, what the hell, we'll do the same sort of thing here. You can continue to hit Z to toggle between the solid and the meshed view. Now, one thing that you should really do working in Unity is you can see that this cube is centered on the origin. This is like, you know, the blue line and the red line, that's the origin. It passes right through the middle and the green line this way. Um, you don't want to work with models that are like that. You want to work with models that sit on the ground. And it just it's just going to make your life easier. So with the whole model selected, we're going to hit G to grab. I'm going to hit Z to only move on the vertical axis and I'm gonna go 1.5. I'm just gonna move it 1.5 units up, and now it is properly sitting on the ground, which is exactly where we want it. Now, if I save this, and we're in the wrong place, I that new project was just called Destructible Geometry. We're gonna go under Assets, and I'm gonna save this as my, um, my building block. We'll call it that. Building block, save this, and then if I go back into Unity, it's going to think for a second, it's going to import the model, you can see my building block here, and I can drag that into the scene, and there we have it. Okay, it's not very exciting, but it's there. So now, what do we want to do with it? 